Okay, what? All right, on the gas, here we go. Green, green, green. Van Beekham's going to lead in turn number one. Ryder gets a good jump, still maintains a rather sizable lead this early in the race. And that's the corner that bit him yep. in the race previously. So he's got to be kind of tiptoe through that. He's still not confident, still hasn't quite figured it out. But look at that. They're almost four wide oh, going into the final corner. Two wide, banging wheels right now. Connor Berry back in that fourth position, fighting it out. The battle for second place continues with Lamosis in the 88. How about that? Mason Prater up in the second? He said well back in the six or seven spot. Right now running second. Yeah, he was banging wheels there with uh, George Lamosis there for a moment. Van Beacom, Prater in second, Lamosis third, fourth Barry, fifth Benitez. Now finally kind of getting bumper to bumper single file line. of smoke coming out uh, Van Beekham I'm looking real real close at lap times and these cars are getting faster every single lap the track is coming around may have started a little bit on the moist side a little bit loose but now it's starting to dry out a little bit especially in the race lines oh Connor Barry tried a bonsai move to the inside oh the Moses and him are wheel to wheel banging Connor Barry really pushing the issue. He wants that third spot, and well before he get to the competition yellow. He's still being aggressive. Here he goes to the inside. Connor Barry pulls up alongside. It's going to have to be a slide job through the turn. Cannot pull it off. Miss something. Van Beekham having issues. He just dropped back drastically. Yeah, I got a little out of shape there. Prater was able to take that position away as Barry now moves up. Oh, the Moses. Almost gets on the bike. Barry trying to fight it out now with Van Beekham. Three RS1s. And Connor Barry drives right around the outside, but Van Beekham. That's a yeah, Van Beekham's got down. issues. Van Beekham's yeah. pulling off the track. There's something going on. I saw puffs of white smoke coming out of that car. I'm not sure that had anything to do with it. But I noticed some issues a little bit early on. They always say it's quickest before that motor goes. Man, tough break for the young man. Heartbreaking. Talk about an up and down year, tough break. Prater, the Moses. You know what we missed? The pass for the lead. Mason Prater started, I want to say it was like seventh or eighth place. He has worked his way through the field. Oh! Definitely, he was there right up there on the second lap, already battling for third into second. So Mason having a great run right oh, now. Oh, Mason Prater! He the lost right a rear. tire. Look up! Tire coming in. How far will it go? Looks like the fence caught it. Something caught it. That Somebody's was a long there. one. Somebody's down there cheering in the hot pits. 
Yeah, it looks like it just barely missed the record. That's going to bring out a full course caution here, it looks like. Oh, man. Basically, this could have been almost a homecoming for Mason Prater. Yeah, this is backyard here, too. Yeah. Well, good thing you didn't have the record, didn't have to drive far. And the competition yellow, unless it's a full course, could be the comp yellow, too. I'm not sure. But it's a full course yellow. Gee. What a heartbreak. Well, the Toyota Redlands Toyota is now uh, has the whole field collected here. We got Mason's car cleared. We should see a duck off the track here. Go right back to racing. Oh, a lot of games being played there. Lamosis, Barry, Benitez. One, two, three, off the line. Here we go. Chad Williams in there, battling back there, trying to... With Kirsten Hernandez, Doodle, and Drake Matag. Barry goes around the long way. Trying to get up to the inside. Here we go. The pass. Barry gives a little break check there. Lamosis lets him know he's right there again. Little bump. Dominic Benitez in that third position of the 911 machine. Ball by Drake Matag and Chad Williams. Kirsten Hernandez. Michael Bernstein. James Johnson. And fortunately, Mason Prater and uh, Ryder Van Beekham out on mechanicals.
Carter Berg and Jason Lee is the battle in the back. Dominic Benitez and Tag are battling it out. Benitez moves up in the second. Lamos is all the way back to fourth place right now. Barry. Dominic Benitez, Drake Matag, George Lamosis. Before four laps, sorry, three laps remaining this time by when they, when Connor Berry hit the stripes, three laps. In fact, for the first time today, I'm starting to see a little blue groove on the inside line of turn one. There may be some others, but uh, that's the one the most notable as far as I can see. Well, I can definitely see it done this final turn here, coming out of the turn. Starting to get a little rutted out, a little blue groove at turn number three. It's kind of crazy, but turn two doesn't have a tendency to blue groove. That bank turn, always been favorable. But a lot of blue groove on that main line coming off the ski jump. Barry goes by, knocking down at two laps to go. White flag will come out this next time by. As it continues to circulate, look at this. Matad makes the move. Almost. I thought he was going to get it. <laughs> Hey, yeah, I call out a friend of mine, uh, one of the best shooters I've ever met, Josh Capperton. He's checked in right now. He's one of the MAO's finest. He's at every single event. And uh, Josh, and, great guy. And he can he can edit some videos. Holy smokes! The slow mo stuff. Drone, drone pilot and everything, man. Yeah. It's cool to, cool to see that you're uh, tuned in, Josh, and see you in a couple weeks, brother. There's the white flag. Connor Berry goes by. Sizable lead over Benitez. Drake Matag has a shot at that second spot. That's the race to watch with one lap remaining. George Lemos is not far out of the action. He's got a shot at a podium, and he's gaining on Matag right now. Just a couple turns remaining. Matag oh. got a little squirrely coming to the corner. Lost a lot of ground yep. for that fourth spot. But I don't think Lamosis is going to be able to pull it off. There it is. The win. A little bit too Connor late. Barry. And Dominic across Benitez. the line will be Dominic Benitez in second. Drake Matag will hang on for third. Lamosis fourth. And Chad Williams will round out the top five in production 1,000. So once again, down to the podium, Dave Arnold will go. Hang out with our top three finishers in Production 1000, getting ready for the next race, which will be Pro Buggy. Three races remaining. Three. Pro Buggy, Pro Life, and Pro 2. And I don't know what Jimmy Loons is doing, but uh, he's tuned in. I don't know if he's back in the pits hanging out, what the deal is, but uh, kind of runs the team-ish. Logistically, for Johnny Holcher, at least he claims he does. So once again, Connor Barry will take that top spot. Dominic Benitez in second. Drake will take third. Once again, thank you to all the fans that are watching us back home. Thank you so much. That's so cool. And uh, if you are still watching, check in. Let us know where you're watching from. Is it your garage, the backyard by the pool, grilling out? Maybe out in the tree stand in northern Wisconsin? Maybe you're <laughs> sitting at the lake underneath the beautiful changing colored leaves uh, in a camper by the fire. That heck. I had a friend of me, a friend of mine, send me a picture of him doing just that at a campfire right here in the front camp. Uh, had a, his laptop, I think it was, TV on the outside of the camper, and the lake in the background. You're killing me. So right now, instead of letting me know where they're from, we got fans that are talking amongst themselves on the internet. 
talking about, hey, are you ready for winter yet? Yeah, I got two sleds. The third one's ready. La, 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 la. Can't bring on the snow quick enough. Are you guys really serious? Well, as they crawl out of those cars, a couple of these drivers, in fact, I think they all have been out in previous races as well in different classes. Got to be a long day, even though there are 15 lap races or so with practice and qualifying and such. Brock Smith checks in uh, from Green Bay, one of the Smith boys, one of the Smith brothers. And no, not the Brandy Company, no. That's Smith Brothers, right? Yeah, Brandy. Okay, guys, let's work our way up to the podium. We got a couple races to go, and shadows are starting to form. So Dave Arnold is up there waiting. And Connor Barry, you got some chocolate milk waiting for you, man. All right, we're we'll going to get him up here. All right, here they are, Drake Matad, Dominic Benitez, and Connor Barry. You know, started out with Drake, and what an incredible race that was. And saw you and Dominic were just battling it out. Yeah, definitely, definitely a gnarly one. I was, you know, I'm used to the wide open tracks where you're trying to wide open as long as you can, then barely turn around the long sweeping corner. So coming back to uh, the West was definitely pretty gnarly. It's way different and a lot of fun. Makes you respect the, uh, the short track stuff, right? Yeah, definitely. Well, and you also had the battle with Lemosis there, too, and I don't know if he was having some problems, and then you got out of your way, and then it was all Dominic. Yeah, i got to give it up to my team. Me and my dad put in the last, I think, four months working on my car, putting new things in, new things in through the Midwest trip, and uh, ZRP and um, Hostile Wheels, Max's Tires, everybody that helps me out, thank you. Give it up for Drake Matag, everybody, with a great job there. We're moving on to Dominic Benitez, and Dominic, man... <laughs> Drake was really turning it up, but I know, first of all, you had Connor to deal with, then you had George Lemosis to deal with, so that was a lot of work. You had to look in front of you, behind you, next to you. Yeah, I know. That was one of the most fun races I think I've ever done. That was awesome. Well, I'm telling you, it's going to be great. You can't wait for tomorrow. Did you learn anything? Uh, yeah, I learned that it's always good to have two transmissions. <laughs> there you go. Well, Dominic, who do you want to thank, bud? Uh... I want to thank my dad, my mom, E Street, and speaking of E Street, I know it's very short notice, but next weekend there is a race. It's a double header. Yeah, anyone that comes from here gets a free entry, and it's mainly a UTV track, but it's it's awesome out there. Nice. Let's give it up for Dominic Benitez, everybody. All right, Connor. Got first of all Bergeston Heating and Air, and Toyota Redlands, and then I have in my pocket I have a. A one dollar. There you go. Don't make it a hundred one dollars. <laughs> that always makes it a little bit sweeter. So let's talk about the battle there. You know, going out early on, we saw you know Van Beekham pulls off. Then all of a sudden, you got these guys battling with two, and also George Lemosis. Yeah, um, we started in fifth, and I got the fourth. I think after the first lap, and then um, I was behind George for like the first half, and then. Um, it was just about being s smart. Um, my car was fast. I have to give a, a thanks to on the queen because, like, that thing was hauling. So um, a big thanks to him. And, yeah, we, we got the win, and we should now be first inside the points. Well, that's awesome, Mary. And I know you got some great people right behind you making that problem. And I know I saw Mark Queen last week, and he goes, hey, tell Connor go get him. Yeah, for sure. Um, and thanks to my mom, dad, CBR, General, AIM, KNN, Queen, um, Billy, and yeah. Give it up to this young man right there, Connor Bear, everybody. But one more time, Drake Matag, Dominic Benitez, and Connor Barry standing tall on top of the box. Well, it continues to grow in speed.